ಗೋಖ್ಲೆ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮತ್ತು ನವಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ಒಂದು ಲೋಕಲ್ ವಾಲಂಟ್ರಿ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ನಾವು ಗೋಖ್ಲೆ ಮತ್ತು ನವಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಸಹಯೋಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಸುಮಾರು ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಸುಮಾರು ವರ್ಷದ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಸೊ ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಇಂದಿನ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಅತಿಥಿಯಾಗಿ ಬಂದಿರುವ ನ್ಯಾಯಮೂರ್ತಿ ಗುರುರಾಜನ್ ರವರಿಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಸುಸ್ವಾಗತ ಮತ್ತು ಇವತ್ತು ನಿಜವಾಗಲೂ ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಸುಮಾರು ಶೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ ಇತ್ತು ನಾನು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಮೂರು ತಿಂಗಳಿಂದನೇ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರಿಂದ ಅವರು ಕಮಿಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಬಂದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಪ್ರಿವಿಲೇಜ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇಮ್ ಟುಡೇ ಫಾರ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಮತ್ತು ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ವೈಟೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಗೋಖ್ಲೆ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಒಂದು ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಯಾವುದು ನಾವು ಚೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಫಂಡಮೆಂಟಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ನಾನು ಜಡ್ಜ್ ಸಾಹೇಬ್ರ ಮುಂದೆ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ನಾನು ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮಾತಾಡೋದು ತುಂಬ ಚಿಕ್ಕತನ ಅದು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಅಥಾರಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಆನ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನಲ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ಸೊ ಐ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ನಾನು ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಕೊಡ್ತೀನಿ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಗುರುರಾಜನ್ ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಗುರುರಾಜನ್ ಅವರು ಸುಮಾರು ಮೂವತ್ತೊಂದು ವರ್ಷ ವಕೀಲ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಒಂಬತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಹೈಕೋರ್ಟಲ್ಲಿ ನ್ಯಾಯಮೂರ್ತಿಯಾಗಿ ಸೇವೆ ನಿರ್ವಹಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇ ವಾಸ್ ಎ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಅಡ್ವೊಕೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೇಬರ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ and he has appeared in many courts like ap high court madras gujarat rajasthan so this is a big list i have with me so and he was an advisor to many many organizations in bangalore hlo bhlo many many i have a big list and he was specialist in the industrial and taxation matters also and he was the chairman for bms education trust for almost 9 to 10 years more than that he was the upaloka ayukta for karnataka here matte sumar he is the chairman for he was the chairman for bangalore stock exchange and he has been today you should have been honored in some other place yado ondu ngo ide avardu so he has been uh, awarded some best uh, the, um, person for his uh, um, performance and thereto he was to go today but because there was a commitment with us so he has come over here so personally i welcome him and thank him to be here uh, ಮತ್ತು ಗೋಖ್ಲೆ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ನಮ್ಮದು ತುಂಬಾ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನಲ್ಲಿ ತುಂಬ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಐ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಗೋಖ್ಲೆ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ದೆಮ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ರಾಮು ನಾವು ಐ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಗುರುರಾಜನ್ ಟು ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ಸೇ ಇಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಗುಡ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಲೇಡೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜೆಂಟಲ್ಮನ್ office bearers of navjyoti trust office bearers of gokhale institute of public affairs ladies and gentlemen at the outset i wish you all a very happy ugadi and um, i request the audience to pardon me for sitting and addressing you because just one week before my retirement i survived death i was on my way to vaishnav devi just 1 km just before 1 km my car rolled down 45 feet down and uh, 
I surveyed courtesy God Almighty. I'm a very, very firm believer in God. Myself, my wife were going, that was my last LTC to Vaishnavi Devi. Instead of staying Vaishnavi Devi, I suffered a very bad accident. And in terms of religion, probably it's my past karma that uh, resulted in the accident. But still, God was extremely kind to me. Despite the car falling 45 feet down in the valley, I survived that. I suffered a very serious uh, injuries on my uh, right leg and right shoulder. So also my wife. Then God was kind. I am before you. Therefore, I am unable to stand and address you for a long time. And therefore, kindly excuse me for addressing you in sitting position. Then again, Kannada kinta English lalo sulpa easy adrinda English le na nhala ke icha patrin. E constitutional le most important article is Article Twenty One. It is like the heart of the man's body. Unless the heart functions, the body can't function. If Article Twenty One is removed, Indian Constitution is dead. Therefore, I thought, in all fitness, I should speak something about Article Twenty One, which is fundamental to fundamental rights. Without Article Twenty One, you can't be sitting here. I can't be sitting here and addressing you. Therefore, I thought I should share my views with reference to Article Twenty One of the Constitution of India. And um, the Article Twenty One, as most of you know. is far superior compared to the other fundamental in the constitution the indian constitution provided fundamental in terms of part 3 of the constitution part 3 provide for article 14 19 21 25 26 31 these are considered to be very fundamental what do we call fundamental there are rights and rights and we call fundamental rights why we call fundamental is it is fundamental to a fundamental right without which the other fundamentals can't exist therefore we call it fundamental rights it can't be taken away thanks to indian judiciary even when the constitution is suspended or when an emergency is declared the supreme court has said the article part 3 of the constitution cannot be suspended they have said the basic structure the they have involved a principle what is known as the basic structure of the constitution that cannot be taken away under any circumstances by any executive or legislature i have taken the topic uh, as indian constitution particular article 20 in the constitution most of you may be surprised as to why i chose article 21 as against other articles of indian constitution indian constitution is the written constitution probably the best constitution in a democratic setup in uk as you know there is no written constitution our constitution is a blend of aroma of various constitution of the world our constitution has several checks and balance system to all the three wings namely executive legislature and judiciary these three wings from pillars of our constitution each pillar is not to occupy the place of other pillar which i would mean usurpation as argued by com- some constitutional experts the preamble to indian constitution reads as and we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute indian into a sovereign this is a very important one read the fundamental to the indian constitution read the preamble we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute indian into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity 
assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation. In our constitution, Assembly, this 26th day of November 1949, do hereby adopt, enact, and give to ourselves this constitution. We have given the constitution ourselves. The constitution belongs to the people. It is for the people, by the people, and to the people. In the light of the constitutional preamble, Article 21 plays a vital role in providing the constitutional rights in terms of the constitutional goal. I must say that despite freedom struggle in this country, when compared to other countries, we got liberty in this country in terms of the constitution without much blood, and today we breathe the freedom of air on account of sacrifices made by our leaders and fellow countrymen. I salute every one of them on this occasion. Freedom is the best asset one can expect in a democratic setup. Liberty is part of freedom. Recently, one consular lawyer addressed Bangalore Bar. I must tell you, incidentally, my son is in Singapore. And uh, I am told, I don't know how much it's true, but I am told it must be true. In uh, Singapore, if you want to have an assembly of persons like this, you must have the permission of the police commissioner. Without the police commissioner's permission, you can't fold a meeting, I can't address you, you can't hear. It is not so in India, thanks to Article 21. Recently, one consul and lawyer addressed the Bangalore bar, and he told during his address that even in a country like Singapore, if one wants to have a meeting, one must take the permission of the police commissioner. In our country, we have the best freedom as expected from an enlightened democratic setup. Maybe, in some circumstances, this freedom is misused, abused, or defaced. By and large, the freedom and liberty is fully enjoyed by the people of this country. What is Article 21? It is agenda. Article 21 says, No person shall be deprived of his life or personal liberty, except according to procedure established by law. These ten words have been entered by the Supreme Court in a teen number of judgments. If you want to write a book on Article 21, it may run to 1,000 pages. This, what is the most important Article 21 is, no person shall be deprived of his life or personal liberty, except according to the procedure established by law. Three important things. One is, the right to life or liberty cannot be deprived, except according to procedure established by law. This has been interpreted, argued, understood, by the people of this country and all in terms of the judgments of the Supreme Court in various cases. I will be referring only a couple of cases because there is not much of time. Protection of life and liberty is guaranteed in all constitution of developed societies, including USA, United Kingdom, Australia, etc. In the United Kingdom, they do not have written constitution, but the Magna Carta would provide that no free man shall be taken or imprisoned or desired or outlawed or banished or anyways destroyed, nor will the king pass upon him or commit him to prison unless by the judgment of his peers or the law of the land. In USA, the Fifth Amendment to the Constitution declares that no person shall be deprived of his life, liberty or property without due process of law. In Canada, a similar provision is available. In other democratic countries also, to a certain extent, the right of liberty is provided. The due process in terms of the American Constitution has been interpreted, applied and respected by U.S. courts. I am proud to say, as an Indian and a far merger of an Indian High Court, that India is not lagging behind in any way in providing a wider meaning to Article 21 in the Constitution. If I say so with respect, the interpretation by the Indian courts was far, far better than the U.S. courts or even England. The words... Life and liberty has been interpreted by the Supreme Court to mean so many rights which is otherwise not able to be a common man. The due process of the American Constitution has been interpreted, applied and respected. I am proud to say as an Indian and a farmer judge the Indian High Court that India is not lagging behind in any way in providing a wider meaning to Article 21 of the Constitution. I am further proud to say that the judgment of the Supreme Court of this country is widely cited in Western countries, including USA, UK, Australia, etc. 
a right to live what what do you mean by liberty and and personal liberty and life this is what it mean a right to live is the most fundamental of all human rights and any decision affecting human life or which may put an individual's life at risk must call for the most anxious scrutiny the sanctity of human life is probably the most fundamental of human social values it recognized in all civil societies and the legal system and by the internationally recognized statement of human rights the object of article 21 is to prevent encroachment upon the personal liberty by the executive save in accordance with law the object of article 21 has been considered by the supreme court in the first case of ak gopalan versus state of the very interesting the first case in the, under article 21 most of you know mr ak gopalan the leader of the communist party of india he was detained um, three number of times when the constitution came the writ petition was filed in the high court of madras and he was represented by mr m k nambiar the expert in constitution he was practicing in bangladesh public prosecutor the first case he argued in madras high court then he became one of the most respected constitutional experts in his country he is the father of mr venugopal who is another constitutional expert the object of article 21 has been considered by supreme court in the first case of gopalan versus state of madras a or 1950 supreme court page 20 the facts are as under this is a petition for the applicant under article 32 of the constitution of india for a writ of habeas corpus against this detention in the madras jail in the petition he has given various dates showing how he has been under detention since december 47 under the ordinary criminal law he was sentenced in terms of imprisonment but this conviction was set aside while he was thus under detention under one of the orders of the madras state government on 13 1950 he was served with an order made under section 31 of the prevent detention act of 1950 he challenged the legality of order as it is contended that it is contravened the provision of article 13 19 and 21 of the provision of the act and it is not in accordance with article 22 of the constitution he challenged the validity of the order on the ground that it issues malafide the supreme court while interpreting article 21 ruled as under read as a whole and viewed in its setting among the group of provision relating to right to freedom article 19 presupposes that the citizen to whom the possession of these fundamentally secured retain the substratum of personal freedom on which alone the enjoyment of the right necessarily what they meant is article 19 depends on article 21 depends on 19 now the supreme court has wired and article 21 stands on its own and is much more sanctions is much more uh, important than article 19 it, it was the first case therefore they did not say much on 21 they emphasized more on 19 but where a penalty for committing a crime or otherwise the citizen is lawfully deprived of his freedom there could no longer be any question of exercising and enforcing the rights conferred to in clause 1 the constitution in article 21 used the word personal liberty which have a definite connotation in law personal liberty does not mean only liberty of the person but it means liberty or the rights attached to the person the expression freedom of life or personal liberty are not to be found in article 19 or it is straining the language of article 19 there is no reason to suppose that in article 21 of the constitution the expression personal liberty has been used in restricted sense in big black stone used in commentaries article 21 gives protection to life and personal liberty to the extent they are in mention it does not recognize the right to life and liberty as an absolute right but limit delimits the ambit and scope of the right this has been subsequently interpreted and widened by the supreme court in a later case the other important i am referring as i told you only two cases for want of time in a later case of 1987 is a very very important case which has which has changed the whole system of governance mrs menaka gandhi in 1977 was denied to go abroad her passport was impounded by an executive order not by any statute not by any other provisions of the law by an executive order her passport was detained was withheld she filed the petition in the, under article 32 of the constitution of the supreme court the fact in menaka gandhi is, is that mrs menaka gandhi passport was impounded 
in public interest by an order dated 2nd July 1977. The Government of India declined in the interest of the general public to forget the reason for the decision. Petition was filed in, under Article 32 and Supreme Court ruled as under. In this case, for the first time the Supreme Court said, any executive order, if it affects your civil rights, if it affects your rights, they must hear you and then pass order. Without hearing you, they cannot pass any order. A right to be heard has been introduced in Article 21 of the Supreme Court for the first time in Menekago on this case. Today, no executive order can be passed without hearing you if it affects your rights. Suppose they want to demolish your house. Suppose they want to do something which affects your rights. Then they must hear you and pass that. A, a, cause is, a, a notice is an absolute necessity in terms of judgment. This judgment has given a wide right to the people to question the executive orders of the government. Otherwise, any executive can issue an order and demolish, void and they do, take away, do whatever he likes. That is impossible today, thanks to the Supreme Court in terms of Menekag on this case. It was held by the Supreme Court in said decision agenda that it is not a valid argument to say <laughs> that the expression personal liberty in Article 21 must be so interpreted to avoid overlapping between that article and Article 19. The expression personal liberty in Article 21 is of the widest amplitude and it covers a variety of rights which go to constitute the personal liberty of man and some of them have been raised to the status of a distinct fundamental right and given additional protection in Article 19. They say it is another fundamental given to you in terms of Part 3 of the Constitution. It will be seen at once from the language of Article 21 that the protection it secures is a limited one. It safeguards the right to go abroad against executive interference which is not supported by law. And the law here means enacted law or a state law. Thus, no person can be deprived of the right to go abroad unless there is a law made by the state prescribing procedure for depriving him or her and the deprivation is effected strictly in accordance with such procedure. Obviously, the procedure cannot be arbitrary, unfair and unreasonable. If a law depriving a person of personal liberty and prescribing a procedure for that purpose within the meaning of Article 21 has to stand the test of one or most of the fundamental rights conferred under Article 19, which may be applicable to a given situation. It must also be liable to be tested with reference to Article 14. The Constitution, when consisting of nine judges, have given a new right to Article 21. The Supreme Court said, personal liberty in Article 21 is the widest amplitude, and it covers the variety of rights which go to constitute the personal liberty of man, and some of them have rise to the status of distinct fundamental rights in addition to Article 19. The Supreme Court also ruled that there is no specific rule in the matter of hearing. The Supreme Court ruled that the law must now be taken to be well settled that even in administrative proceedings which involve civil consequences, the doctrine of natural justice is held to be applicable. Tomorrow some executive passes an order. There should be no more meetings in Gokhale into public affairs. Then what do you do? In which case, if it is given to you without hearing, you approach a court and tell I have not been heard to be struck down immediately. The art, the America on this case gave a wild right to a man, to a citizen of this country, that he cannot be deprived of his right without hearing. The court said a right to be heard is part of Article 21 if it results in civil consequences, which involves civil consequences. The doctrine of natural justice must be held to be applicable. The judgment for the field even today. What this judgment means is, whenever and wherever an order is passed, which results in civil consequences, in the case that when it affects the rights of a person, he has to be heard, as otherwise it is hit by Article 21. The scope of the application is the application article against arbitrary encroachment by the executives has been expanded by liberal interpretation of the components of the article in tune with the relevant international understanding. Thus, protection against arbitrary privation of life is no longer means mere protection of death or physical injury, but also an invasion of the right to live with human dignity. This is what the Supreme Court said. Life means live with human dignity. It is not mere living. 
It is not an animal existence, it is the word used by the Supreme Court. The word life in Article 21 is not an animal existence, but a live with the dignity. But also an invasion of the right to live with human dignity. And would include all these aspects of life, which would go to make a man meaningful and worth living. Uh, such as this tradition, culture and heritage. Today, Supreme Court and High Court <coughs> have judgment after judgment have considered Article 21 by meaning, by meaning a meaningful worth living and not an animal living. In fact, I am a strict follower of liberal interpretation of life and liberty, without which life is not worth in a democratic setup. I would decide one or two cases, I will tell you one case which is worth mentioning to you about Virapan. Most of you know is a dreaded, uh, dreaded smuggler. As you know, when Dr. Rajkumar was kidnapped by Virapan, one Siva Subramanyam, an editor, a magazine editor from Tamil Nadu, was the person who was mediating between Virapan and the government. Because of it, Virapan released Dr. Rajkumar. Afterward, this very Subramanyam was detained. Because Supreme Court came down very heavily when the government wanted to release everybody. Supreme Court said, no, if you can't follow the law, you can't delay them. Otherwise, give up your uh, governance. Then in the process, the Sivu Subramanian was arrested because he has played some role. Then he filed a bill before me. I have considered in a very detailed way and said, Article 21 plays a vital role. He was useful when Dr. Rajkumar was in detention. Now you are not useful to put him behind bars. Therefore, I considered Article 21 and said, you can't deprive him of his right. But however, if there is any offense, it can be safely protected. I gave, I, I gave several conditions, including that he will not leave my sore. He will report every day to police station in my sore. And without the commission, so many conditions I put. In fact, he wanted to, uh, uh, in fact, to be, I must tell you honestly, my judgment is not accepted by Madras High Court. They, they said, no, some circumstances can't be given bail, but I deferred. I said, Article 21 gives a right to a person. He can't be deprived unless he has done a, a great offense which, which, which forbids the court from giving bail. I given so many conditions. In fact, to be honest with you, if I tell you jokingly, when they wanted the condition to be withdrawn, I told the lawyer up at Subramaniam, Subramaniam was going to wear up and just like one is going to a toilet. Why not to tell where Virapan is? I'll give him all the conditions. He may be short. Anyhow, this is another aspect. What I want to say is, I'm a very firm believer that Article 21 is to be respected and it cannot be destroyed by anybody. If Article 21 goes, Constitution goes. If Constitution goes, democracy goes. If democracy goes, I go, you go, everybody goes. Then the second one is, the two words, life and liberty, is widely interpreted by Indian court. In fact, the Supreme Court has ruled that right to live with human dignity and same does not cannot continue dredging. It takes within its fold some process civilization which will make life worth living and the expanded concept of life would mean the tradition, culture and tradition. See, Ratanam versus Union of India, 94 Supreme Court. Let me quote a few more instances where the Supreme Court has considered the following following in Article 21. Supreme Court has interpreted the word life and liberty and considering that they have given several relief in several matters which otherwise is not available to citizens. You know not need delay by the state in bringing an arrested person to trial or delay in preferring an appeal against acquittal violates Article 21 if there is no fault of the accused. Speedy trial is considered to be part of Article 21. I will tell you many people scold the court Many people say, court call animal mugiyore illa antam. Thumma jana haltare. Wherever I go as a person, the first complaint is, Sir, yaak sir nim court let nidana agatte, yaak mugiya illa antam. It is very difficult to explain to a common man. There are several factors. Judge is not the only person responsible for delay in courts. Basically parties, lawyers, the government, the infrastructure facilities, several things. Several things. In fact, I will tell you as a judge in one case, I don't want to mention the name of the person because now it is election, election time. One minister, when I was a judge, just one week before, 
he was supposed to be involved in a corrupt practice which is not correct he was a revenue minister he has transferred 110 revenue officials that was done long before he became the minister he only implemented what his predecessors done this was given wide publicity and then there after they they took advantage of then public inter litigation was filed to take action against the minister the high court issued a notice taking advantage of notice his opponents started issuing pamphlet in the constituency saying he is corrupt etc 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 just then i became a judge in 1999 and 2000 just then i became a judge that is my first judgment or second judgment what happened was the lawyer came and represent me lord because it is pending i was in a division bench sitting with honorable justice ashok ban former judge of supreme court now retired he was memento we are sitting in a division bench the lawyer came and said this on account of this pil pending in this court my rivals are taking advantage please decide the pil as to whether i am guilty or not whether my case should go to before cbi or any court the election was next saturday this was mentioned to me on friday we told them list the case on monday the petition was filed by a lawyer as a public inter litigant incidentally i know him also he is a good friend of mine when i was practicing so what happened was after that monday we listed for hearing we heard monday and tuesday we told him we'll post the order on wednesday that was my first judgment on tuesday and most of you must be knowing it is a little difficult to work in government atmosphere because in government atmosphere at 6 o'clock stenographer goes we finish our court for by 4:35 stenographers must go at 5:36 bus sikala sir now hand maklo bus sila mane go ko i am also very compassionate and very kind judge in fact if i tell you off the record it is nothing to do with this my daughter was a brilliant engineer she was working for accenture her office was somewhere in cantonment at that time in philips building dusan nan office mukskondo and karkondo i was staying in dollars con katon okkide by the time i enter the building my daughter will telephone saying that daddy i am not able to come i got a program my boss is finish and then go i told her illamma nanga i got two secretaries ladies so or ibru nam mane hogu bangalore is not safe for in the evening go mane kalsi you may send that my boss will not hear it is all your personal problem don't bring it to me auto sikala bus sikala or you all these are all your personal problems don't bring it to me it is not so in government by 5:30 she must go this is my first judgment we have promised that will deliver a judgment on wednesday what do i do then i am also new to government working then i asked her how do i send her i told her please wait i'll dictate sir na manage hogbekalla nan kelide illi yaro nam register la aru varigella manage hogibutta sarkara gottalla nam ella hogibutta nan obbe illide high court na adu aagle judge agiddu then i told her wait ma i'll see that you are i'll see i'll send my car to your house dropper nan car alle avana manage drop maadsi i waited till 10 o'clock in the night i by dictated next time she brought the draft we dismiss the petition saying that there is no materials to to complain against this minister because this minister they only implemented what is predecessor done by wednesday we pronounced the judgment within one week with one day but who knows this i can't go to a media i never go to media both as a judge as otherwise i can't go to media many people complain that uh, there are so many things pending there are variety of reasons it not only the court but tumba dena suppose take for example tenancy case tenant always wants to prolong because he pays a lesser rent or a man who is in position he takes a person who is to pay even now i am an arbitrator i can tell you frankly i am an arbitrator in many matters now after retirement in one case a man has to pay nearly 4 to 5 crores he has taken he has given a check check is dishonored arbitration is pending ಏನೋ ಒಂದು ಕಾರಣ ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಒಂದು ದಿವಸ ಬಂದು ನನ್ನ ಹೆಂಡತಿ ಅಜ್ಜಿ ಸತ್ತೋಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಸಾರ್ ಅಂತಾನೆ ನೀವು ಟೈಮ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಿರೋ ಇಲ್ವೋ ಹೇಳಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ಮೆಣಕಾ ಗಾಂಧಿ ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ ಕಮ್ ಇನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡಿಪ್ರೈವಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ನೋ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ದಿವಸ ಬಂದು ನಮ್ಮ ಅಪ್ಪ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟ್ಲ್ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂತಾರೆ ನೀವು ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಿ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ದಿವಸ ಅವ್ರ ಲಾಯರು ಅವ್ರ ಅಪ್ಪ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟ್ಲ್ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂತಾರೆ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಿ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಸಮ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟೀಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ ಜಡ್ಜಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲೋ ನೋ there are variety of reason for delay in court not necessarily a judge in fact uh, uh, 
ಐ ವ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಪ್ರೌಡ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಯಾರ್ಯಾರು ಹೇಳಿ ನಾನು ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಯಾರೋ ಒಬ್ಬರು ಒಂದು ಸಲ ನಾನು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗಿದ್ದೆ ಐ ವೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಚಂಬೇರನ್ ಸಿಸಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾರೋ ಒಬ್ಬರು ಸರ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹತ್ರ ಮಾತಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಏನು ಅಂದೆ ಸರ್ ನಮ್ಮದೊಂದು ಕೇಸ್ ತುಂಬ ಅಂದರೆ ಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಇದೆ ಆ ನಮ್ಮ ಅಣ್ಣನೇ ಲಾಯರು ಅವನೇ ನಮಗೂ ಅಣ್ಣನಿಗೆ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಷನು ಏನು ಸರ್ ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ಮುಂದೇನೇ ಹೋಗ್ತಾನೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಅಣ್ಣನೇ ಮಾಡಲಪ್ಪ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮಿ ನನ್ನ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ನಾಗ ಬಂದು ಏನಾರು ನಿಧಾನ ಆಗಿದ್ದರೆ ನನಗೆ ಹೇಳಿ ತಿದ್ಕೋತೀನಿ ಲೋಕವಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ನನ್ನಿಂದ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಎಂತೆಂಥ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂದರೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ನನಗೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗುತ್ತಾ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟಿವ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಏನೋ ಒಂದು ಮಾಡೋದು ನಾಳೆ ಬನ್ನಿ ಕೆಲವರು ನಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಕೆಲವರು ಈ ಸರ್ಕಾರದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾಳೆ ಬಂದು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಭಾರಿ ಸಂತೋಷ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಸಲ ಹತ್ತತ್ರ ಸಲ ನೋಡಬೇಕು ಅವ್ನ ಮುಖ ಯಾಕೋ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ನಾಳೆ ಬನ್ನಿ ಅನ್ನೋರು ಫೈಲ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಸಾಹೇಬ್ರು ಇಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನೋರು ಸೈನ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನೋರು ಟೈಪ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋದು ಕಾಪಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನೋರು ಏನೋ ಒಂದು ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಒಂದು ಕೇಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಯ್ತಂದರೆ ಒಂದು ಕೇಸ್ನ ಏನಾಯ್ತಂದರೆ ಒಂದು ಲೇಡಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಸಿಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಮೈ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಒಂದು ತಾಯಿ ಮಗಳು ನನ್ನ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಕಾಪಟ್ಟೆ ಕೇಸ್ ಇತ್ತಿತ್ತು ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಐ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಕೇಸಸ್ ಎ ಮಂತ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಟೆರಿಬಲ್ ಜಾಬ್ ಬಟ್ ನನ್ನ ದಿಲ್ಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನೆವರ್ ಗೋ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಸೈನಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಗ್ರಾಂಟ್ ಅಸ್ಟೆ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಸೈನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೆನ್ ಗೋ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಎ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ಲೀವ್ ದಿ ಹೈ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಅದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಯ್ತಂದರೆ ಅವರಿಬ್ಬರು ಒಂದು ದಿವಸ ನಮ್ಮ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಕಳೆದು ಯಾಕಪ್ಪ ಇವತ್ತು ದಿನ ಬಂದು ನಮ್ಮ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಬಂದು ಕೂತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ನನ್ನ ಮುಂದೆ ಏನಮ್ಮ ಯಾವ ಕೇಸ್ ಒಂದು ಕೇಳಿದೆ ನಾನು ನಾಲ್ಕು ಗಂಟೆ ನಾಲ್ಕೂವರೆ ಹೈಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಮುಗಿಯುತ್ತೆ ಸರ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಕೇಸ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮುಂದೆ ಇದೆ ಯಾವುದಮ್ಮ ಅದು ಯಾವುದೋ ನಂಬರ್ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲಮ್ಮ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಲಾಯರ್ ಸೋಮವಾರ ಟೈಮ್ ತೊಗೊಂಡ್ಬಿಟ್ಟುಬಿಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರಲ್ಲ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ಬೇಕು ಶೀಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಧಾರವಾಡ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಾನು ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ಬೇಕು ನಿಮಗೆ ನೀವು ಭಾರಿ ಸಿಟ್ಟು ನೀವು ಬರಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ನಮ್ಮ ಲಾಯರ್ ನಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಕರೆಸ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತೇ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ದಿನಾಳು ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಸರ್ ಏನಮ್ಮ ಕೇಸು ಅಂದೆ ಹರ್ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ ವಾಸ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಜಿ ಸಿ ಆಫೀಸ್ ಅದೇನೋ ಡೈವರ್ಸ್ ಪೆಟ್ಷನ್ ಇತ್ತು ಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಇತ್ತು ಆ ಅಪ್ಪ ಸತ್ತೋಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟ ಸತ್ತ ಮೇಲೆ ಕೇಸ್ ಸತ್ತ ಸತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಡೈವರ್ಸ್ ಭಗವಂತನೇ ಕೊಟ್ಬಿಟ್ಟ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಯಮಣಿ ದುಡ್ಡು ಬರಬೇಕಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಕೂಡ ಹಿಂದೆ ಮುಂದೆ ಓಡಾಡಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೇಸ್ ಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಇದೆ ಕೇಸ್ ಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಸತ್ತೋದ ಮೇಲೆ ನಾನು ಜಡ್ಜ್ ಮುಗಿಸ್ಬೇಕು ಇವರು ಹೇಳಿಲ್ಲ ಅವರು ಹೇಳಿಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರ ಲಾಯರ್ ಇವ್ರ ಲಾಯರ್ ಮೊಟ್ಟೆ ಸತ್ತೋದು ಕೇಸ್ ಸತ್ತೋಯ್ತು ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದಿ ಡೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಇನ್ ಎ ಜೋಕ್ ಲರ್ ವೇ ಗೋಡ್ ಎಟ್ ಡಿವರ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಗೋಡ್ ಎಟ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಎ ಡೈವರ್ಸ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಆಫ್ ಡೈವರ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಶಿ ಮಸ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಮನಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಶಿಲ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ವೈಫ್ ಶಿಲ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ವೈಫ್ ಶೀ ಈಸ್ ಎಂಟೈಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಮನಿ ಶಿ ಮಸ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಶಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದಿ ವೆಡ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಅರ್ ಡಾಟರ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ನಾಳೆ ಏನಮ್ಮ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಜಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಏನು ಇದೇ ಬೇಕು ವೆಯ್ಟ್ ಅಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಐ ಗಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡೇ ಬೈ ಎ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ದಿ ಲಾಯರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇಮ್ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಕಾನೂನು ಏನೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಅವ್ರ ಗಂಡ ಕೆಂಡ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ನಾವು ನಾನೇ ಬರಿತೀನಿ ಕೇಸ್ ಮುಗಿದೋಯ್ತು ಅಂತ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಜಡ್ಜು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಅವ್ರಿಗೂ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಕೊಡ್ತೀನಿ ನೀ ಆ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಲಾಯರ್ ಏನೇನು ಪೇಪರ್ ಬೇಕಪ್ಪ ನಿಮಗೆ ಹೇಳಿ
Article 21 says, PD trial is a part of Article 21. That's why you must have seen today, recently you must have seen, the Supreme Court has passed an order. All the cases against the politicians must be finished in one year. It is because of Article 21. Article 21 has been interpreted to mean a speedy trial. A speedy trial can be in every. Therefore, but for 21, court could not have done anything. They have interpreted the word life and liberty as inclusive of right to speedy trial. Not only that, they have said so many things. Uh, environment and right to reputation or right to legal aid. and right to health, medical care, all these, they said, life include all these rights, thanks to Supreme Court. All of us must be ever grateful to Indian judiciary, in particular to the Supreme Court of India, which has given the widest interpretation to these two words, life and liberty. They say life means a meaningful life, and not animal existence, this is the word used by, not animal existence, it is a meaningful life. What is meaningful life is, all these are a part of one. There need not be any specific article. That is why you require a court. On one, one has the right to have and preserve his reputation and also protect it. An individual is entitled to be heard before any order is passed affecting his reputation. A right to health and medical care to protect health and vigor while in service or post-retirement is fundamental right of a worker in Article 21. Public health is in condition on which right to life and development activities in the city and elsewhere can flourish and the same is protected. Requirement of wearing helmet cannot be challenged on the ground of discomfort. Individual discomfort has to succumb to paramount objection of saving life and hence not violate Article 21. A right to dignity and fair treatment is not only confined living but also a dead body. In the latter, liberal interpretation provided by the Supreme Court, several public litigations are filed and being filed and they have provided a meaningful life to the citizens of this country. The court has interfered in the matter of starvation, death, a right to know, a right to food, and right to reasonableness in several cases. What I mean to say is that, but for Article 21, many of the necessities for a meaningful life would have been denied or deprived by the state, but for the internal Indian judiciary in terms of Article 21. In fact, I am proud to say that the interpretation given by the Indian judiciary is overwhelmingly welcome by the Western countries. The last aspect, then, um, having said so, because uh, to be honest to you, I have one more. Um, uh, a uh, client of mine for over 30 years, his only daughter is getting married today and I'm supposed to attend the reception in palace. And um, Mr. Um, Guru Prasad, whom, whom I know fairly for a long time, has asked me to say something on, on Indian constitution, which I accepted a couple of months ago. Otherwise, to use the court language, I would have sought adjournment from him. Since he has taken about two, my 22 months before, I thought I can go a little late to the reception than coming here. And secondly, uh, I heard about Gokhale Institute of Public Affairs. In fact, I was the, after retirement as the chairman of BMS for nearly two years, by which of a court order. Uh, to be honest to you, I have not entered here, though I know about it. And Gokhale Institute has a name in Bangalore. Only thing is, unfortunately or fortunately, I am staying that part of the time, I am staying in Maleshwaram. So I am deprived of Gokhale. So therefore, I thought, at least one day I must come here. In fact, uh, the northern side, even uh, the other day, I am a very firm believer in God. In fact, I told one Swamiji the other day, Ella Prachir Prasanga, Ella Ekran Rita, Batsan Gudi, Jayanagara, Ilian Ritina, Malaysia, Yenu, Yaro, Lakat, what is it out? Alu and Richard today. But compared to that, is this better? So, having said so, Article 21, I will say how to enforce it. Article 21. There are two things, most of you must be, everyone knows what is the petition today. The Constitution provides for it petition in Article 220 or 32. There is slight difference between 32 and 226. 
32 is a right given to a citizen to move the Supreme Court. 226 is a right given to a person to move the High Court. 32 you can move it only when a fundamental right is not otherwise. The writ petition can be filed for invasion by an executive of your rights. If it affects your fundamental rights in terms of Part 3, you can move the Supreme Court under Article 32. That also Supreme Court can either hear it or send it to High Court. High Court also can hear it, personal right. But a right is given to a citizen to move Supreme Court under 32. You, you must find many of the cases, even Supreme Court has taken so much home under 32. Therefore, you can enforce Article 21 in particular, in particular, in Supreme Court by 32. In terms of the 226, there are well-known four writ petitions for the High Court. This is known even pre-Constitution. One is the writ of habeas corpus, one is the writ of mandamus, one is the writ of coronto, one is the writ of shashurari. I will briefly tell you in 10 minutes what are these four. What is writ of habeas corpus? Habeas corpus means bring the body to the court. If somebody deprived, if somebody deprived the right of liberty by means of a wrongful confinement, you can move on a 226 and ask for a habeas corpus, bring the body. Most of the cases which come to court now is, I must say frankly, young lovers. They marry from different communities, Tande Opala, Thai Opala, Aurupala, Aurupala, Eno and Agate, Aur Elkarton Hurga Karkando Gitane, Rit Akta, Rit of ABS Carpet, Parents Aktare. Otherly jurisdiction is Tenem Ginila, Niaur Nakarsi KLTV. Are you living on your own or there is any compulsion? Andre Serin, that's all, nothing else. There is any violation, you must go to regular course. This is all what is ABS cost. In fact, if I tell you, uh, jocularly or seriously, uh, in one case, um, uh, in Mangalore, a girl and a boy got married. Many of them, they do not know what the consequences are. Our hoagi registered marriage mark competitor, tight and they held in it, belong to different communities. Our hoagi utter chowder stani, hoagi kala del wattale. Madved mele, Register marriage, I told her, Hurgi, or Manahoga and Lo, Hurga, writ of habeas corpus sakit. She is detained by her parents against her will. She is a major. Court Mundamana, normal guitar, a bundle chambers like a security, quarterly, Asaya got bed, a kero, a can be a right to dignity is also part of Article 21. Afudin Kelly, Yaka Maitra, Mark Nang, Beda Salon, Alamam, register Mark on Beda Nakidiano, Baji Bond and a Beda Bacon Telake. Madhav Markum but he not sir nangi to go till I serious on the Yak Markun in the Illasan and Kalgan in the Nebandi and Dinoglu Chudastida Chudas Britanic Banduni and Madhav Marku Samudra Bit Britini no do good the male bit in learning Hedrika to Matsatri Tobutan and in number two Yen Bekunde but register up like Madhav Markum Tesan and Gotilla, even my hentimon and gotil Yeno Hodro Ali Aro sign Marondro, you name Dut Kotna and Gotilla Sun and sign Marataband Nang Beda Sar. What do you do? Then when I asked, she said that she seemed willingly with her parents. And this boy said, no, sir. I said, work out your remedy. Now. This is all habeas corpus. In the writ of habeas corpus, what the writ court does is only to find out as to whether A, B, C, who is detained, is staying on a free will or some compulsion. If there is no compulsion, we close the case. This is what is habeas corpus. In fact, if you find in most of the cases, particularly with regard to this uh, Gunda Act and so many acts are there, can detain. There is a procedure where to follow the all we see, nothing else. The second writ of, writ of certiorari. Writ of certiorari is available against the order of any tribunal or court. The other court, Kalagan court, in our Mardi Dre, other than a challenge, Mardi Dre, writ of certiorari in Kelti, under 226. Moon is writ of mandamus. Mandamus in the direction. Kanon prakara itara Mardi Madlilla. Agani Koti Bando on Kerbuk, Itrayak Madlilla, Madrid Koti Bando, Ritta Mitra, Kanon Prakar Itra Madbeku, for example, corporation. He is expected to do A, B, C in term of particular section. At Madlilla, therefore, issue a direction to or compel him to do the statutory duty cast on him in terms of this is writ of mandamus. Then writ of uh, co warrant to co warrant on the end and 
yadgare he doesn't have the right to occupy that post you can ask him why he is occupied for example in one case where in fact i decided a case of drug controller adralli certain qualification necessary that qualification is missing instead of it he sarkar or ips officer nak putrali ips officer is good for police he may not be good for as a drug controller the act requires abc so it took call on to set set aside saying that appear so and so these are the four writ petitions known under 226 under 226 also you can enforce 21 under 32 also you can enforce 21 therefore the implementation is available both in the high court and supreme but it is not available in either court in other courts you can only say that it is a violation of 21 but you want to enforce 21 you must file a writ petition under article 220 of the constitution of high court or under article 32 to the supreme this is the remedy available so gentlemen i have said in brief about the importance of article 21 and the method and manner available citizen to get the right implemented by a state in terms of the constitution i am sure that i have given you something what i know both as a lawyer and a judge and i do hope that you have known how important is article 21 i am sure that mr my bringing here has given you some food for thought and um, and uh, i request you all to as i told you to pardon me for some, there are many elders more more elders elderly than me but i have to sit and address because of my incapacity kindly forgive me and once again i wish you all the best i pray god almighty to bless every one of you thank you very much idiom before completing um i want to tell um, both um, the managing body of gokhale institute as well as navajyoti trust if their bylaws permit of a man who is age 68 to become a member i would definitely would like to become a member of this i'll do whatever service is possible from my side absolutely free of cost absolutely free of cost because incidentally as i told you after retirement i do in my own way some service to the deprived people i give a lot of legal aid to the poorest of the people you will be surprised iga tumba dana lagal time irala iga fees sulp jaasti agide kelo case alli papa yesto janakke ban keltare nanu i am a designated senior advocate of supreme court supreme court designated senior advocate because of my health condition i am not practicing supreme court so i have few obligation time idagara mane bandre i advise them in my own way without money and kelo me bartare kelo or bandu one lady came to me she lost her husband our accounts settle madake bank manager sign mark ke manni indran gazetted officer thre nanna thre minu sign nalla mana nu retire aagibutan power hoyitu once i retire my power is gone my signature is no value you accept my signature value only for my check not otherwise anywhere it is no use ya mal hogeli illa avaru manager alirante sahibaru justice nu hakbutta saak nan kotpartini indrante nan i am doing it illegal act parvagilla sir you sign madu duddu barutte andlu to be honest to you if she is going to get to i signed that certificate she got the money so i do in my own way some service to the poorest to the poor poorest to the poor so if i am if i could be of some use both to the great institution gokhale institute and to namajyoti i will definitely do it and only thing is as i told you i would like never like to violate the bylaws if your bylaws provide for a retired judge or a person above 65 to become a member i would certainly become a member and do what i best could do thank you very much ಗೋಖಲೆ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಇಷ್ಟೋ ತನಕ ನ್ಯಾಯಮೂರ್ತಿ ಗುರುರಾಜನ್ ಅವರ ಅನುಭವ ಮತ್ತು ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪರ್ಟೈಸ್ ತಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಕೇಳಿದ್ದೀರಾ 
ಖಂಡಿತ ಇಂಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಿ ಅವ್ರ ಟೈಮ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ ಇಂದ ಅವರು ರಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅನ್ಸುತ್ತೆ ಅವ್ರ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ನನಗೆ ಹೇಳಿದರು ನಾನು ಎರಡು ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಯು ವಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಹಾನರ್ಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇನ್ ಸಮ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಟುಡೆ ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ಎನ್ ಜಿ ಓ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಮ್ ಎಮ್ ಎನ್ ಜಿ ಓ ಸೊ ಸಮ್ ಡಿಸೆಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಎನ್ ಜಿ ಓ ಇರಬೇಕದು ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಎನ್ ಜಿ ಓ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಅವಾರ್ಡೆಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ನಮ್ಮ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಸಮ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಟು ರಿಸೀವ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಬಟ್ ಎನಿವೆ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅವರ್ ಪ್ರಿವಿಲೇಜ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇಮ್ ಟುಡೇ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಪೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಸಿ ಶೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ರಿಯಲಿ ವಿ ಪರ್ಸನಲಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಫುಲ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಮತ್ತು ಒಂದು ನಮ್ಮ ನವಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಕೊಟ್ಬಿಡ್ತೀನಿ ಐ ಟೇಕ್ ಎ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲಿಟ್ಲ್ ಟೂ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಸರ್ ನವಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟು ಒಂದು ವಾಲಂಟ್ರಿ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಸಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋ ಏಜ್ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ ಎನಿಬಡಿ ಕೆನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಎನಿ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಿ ಸಿ ಮೆನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ರಿಟೈರ್ಡ್ ಇಯರ್ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ದೇಲ್ ಬಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಸಿ ನೀವು ದೊಡ್ಡ ದೊಡ್ಡದು ಮಾಡೋ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಿ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಸಿ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಬಡೀಸ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಬಿಗ್ ಅಚೀವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸಿ ನಮ್ಮ ನವಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟು ಸುಮಾರು ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎನ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ ಇನ್ ಸಮ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಮ್ಮ ನವಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟಲ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಏರಿಯಾಸ್ ಒಬ್ಬರು ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಒನ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಈ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಪದ್ಮಶ್ರೀ ಹೋಲ್ಡರ್ ಇನ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಈ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಿ ಸಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಟ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಮಾಲರ್ ವೇ ನಾವೇನ್ ದೊಡ್ಡದಾಗಿ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಷಿಯನ್ ಸಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಆನ್ ನಾನ್ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ನಾನ್ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಅಂತ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಗಿಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ರೆಡಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ರಿಯಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಷನಲ್ಲೇ ಇದು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರದು ತುಂಬ ಬಿಗ್ ವೇಲ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಟು ಕಾಂಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಮೈ ನಮ್ಮ ಕೈಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಆಗುತ್ತೋ ಟು ದಿ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡನ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪ್ಸ್ ಡೆಂಟಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪ್ಸು ಮತ್ತು ಐ ಚೆಕಪ್ಸು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಡಿಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಸೋ ಮನಿ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮರ್ ಅವೇರ್ನೆಸ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಜರ್ನಲಿಸಮ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಇದು ಮಾಡಿ ಸೋ ಮನಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ವೀಕು ಶಿವರಾತ್ರಿಗೋಸ್ಕರ ನಾವು ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನದಲ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಇಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಆಲ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಸೊ ಎನಿಬಡಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ನೋ ಏಜ್ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ ಸೊ ಎನಿಬಡಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಓಕೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ನೌ ಐ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಪಾಂಡುರಂಗ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಪ್ರಪೋಸ್ ದಿ ವೋಟರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ನವಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ ಮತ್ತು ಗೋಖಲೆ ಸಾರ್ವಜ
ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಸೇವಾ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ ನವಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ ಧಾರ್ ಅವರು ಹೇಳಿದಂಗೆ ಕೆಲವು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಗಳನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇನ್ನೂ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿನ ಸಂಖ್ಯೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟು ಯಾವ್ದಾದ್ರು ಒಂದು ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದಾಗ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅವಾಗ ಅವರು ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ನಂಬ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೇನೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಆಗಿರಿಂದ ನೀವು ಬಂದಿದ್ದರೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ನಿಮ್ಗಳಿಗೂ ಧನ್ಯವಾದವನ್ನು ಅರ್ಪಿಸಿ ನಾನು ಗೋಖಲೆ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಮತ್ತು ನವಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ ಅವರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಪರವಾಗಿ ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ವಂದನೆ ಸುತ್ತ ಅರ್ಪಿಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣಮೂರ್ತಿಯವರು ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುರಾಜನ್ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಕಾಣಿಕೆಯನ್ನು 